Welcome everyone. Today we are going to see how to optimize the non-cutting moments. In this part, first we need to set MCS, like machine coordinate system, we need to set first. Here we need to set this whole of origin. In this MCS, we have a clearance values. That clearance option we can use this that uh, every operation says uh, home position of written home position of tool where is going which levels is going or uh, one depth of cut to another depth of cut how much is retraction we need to that that options are we need to uh, optimize in machine coordinate system by using the clearance option we can able to use the plane also or otherwise automatic plane is uh, we can able to create and boundary view cylinder and spare pounded box all those things we can able to control it here we can use this automatic plan with the safe clearance of 100 mm so that every process is moving that 100 mm in this air movement we dating on date on a drilling operation means that one hole to another hole is going to 100 mm like that now we plan to add the roughing process by using cavity mill click OK we need to select the tools here we already prepare the tools so we can select the tools in this list if you need to know that how to create a tools list that video link in description we can check it. now the tool path is generated Here you can see that that uh, red color lines are the, our uh, 100 mm above that we are giving that higher range right? That is that non cutting air movements that is moved in a rabbit, and this blue color highlighted lines are approaching, and that yellow colors are engaging, and this green colors that pro one pass to next passes is moving in feed rate, engaging in feed rate. And that uh, near look like white. These col these lines are in retraction lines. So these are the common. These these blue colors all are in cutting lines. That feed rate movement G not one G not three. This this cutting tool material removing process is highlighted in blue color. Now we plan to verify the tool path. Here you can see that the tool is approached right now. Here we need now. The tool is next pass is going to engage that that engaging is uh, possible to reduce the tool life is suddenly plunging on this part we can be able to customize the this plunging also here by using the non-cutting movements options we can be able to control the engaging and retraction and uh, transferring the whole uh, one process to another process all those things we can be able to control by using non-cutting moments in NX here now we plan to edit the tool path here you can see that engaging now we plan to go to edit that engaging lines click in non-cutting moment most in this step we have a uh, non-cutting movements controlling options all are engage retract start drill points and transfer wrap, transfer and avoidance and more all those things we can able to control to here here we can give it the parameters like uh, how to engage the, the tool path it is normal the tool path is engaging as uh, diameter of helical interplating there we can able to control that uh, helical ramp and say plunging all those things and the diameter of engaging we can add that how much percentage we need to engage on this uh, tool engagement here we change that engaging diameter at 50 and minimum ramp length also we can change to 70 to 30 now we plan to generate the tool path you can see that that previous engaging and this engage um, tool path is different right so that as per our uh, 
a engaging concept of diametrical 90 to 80 50 we changed and also minimum ramp length also we can change it so now we plan to change and in one, one more changes we plan to change and ramp angle we changed to 15 to 5 now we generate here you can see that that helically interpolated engaging is here perfectly approach here you can see verify that yeah this one is uh, compare with the previous toolpath is safer the toolpath so the, this type of uh, engaging we can able to control it in non cutting moments in your next here why like why we like to use this this that in tool life is we need more important right so we can use this safest engagements we plan to write here Here we can customize the uh, tool engagement. So we can able to control the tool retraction also we can able to control it in NX. Here, in here we can see that uh, the toolpath is retract in a linear direction. So if in no need to linear direction, we need some arc or some particular uh, position of arc length we need means we can able to change it. By using non-cutting movements, the retraction tab also available, so we can able to optimize the retraction uh, toolpath also. Now we plan to go into the non-cutting modes. Here you can see that retraction tab also we have it. We can uh, here already available in same as engage. We can change that linear or linear to cut and or call as per our requirement. We can able to change that retraction toolpath now we generate the toolpath here you can see that we will uh, previous toolpath we get in, in linear retractions and now we get in arc so we can able to control that arc length and uh, arc diameter all those things we can able to change it And the next thing is uh, here you can see that uh, the tool is retract of our given uh, clearance value of 100 mm so that every depth of cut the tool is retract to 100 mm and again engaged and running up retraction is every toolpath is moving at 100 mm of as per our planned set in machine coordinate system so we can change it here uh, by using non-cutting movements the uh, depth of cut to depth of cut passes we can uh, control by using non cutting moments select at non cutting moves here in this list we have a tap on transfer or wrap it so we can select it the transfer here you can see that clearance values and uh, between the region within the region all those things we can able to customize to the non cutting moments here uh, in case we have a uh, two types of uh, regions we have it means we can use two between region here we have a uh, within region only we have it so we can select that within region how is toolpath is we need of minimum clearance we can set it we can able to set the uh, previous plane to transfer or uh, direct transfer clearance axis or blank plane also we can able to select it blank plane we can set it at uh, as per our requirement here we set it 3 mm and generate the toolpath here you can see that first approaching is from that 100 mm hour set it in a machine coordinate system and that one tool depth of cut to next toolpath is moving as our setted blank plane of 3 mm so this way we can able to control this non cutting movements in your next this is totally time saving process or money saving process that while we are approaching that tool is safest type engaging means we get it more life on tools and the uh, same like is uh, uh, process to hold to hold and uh, 
profile to profile that movement is minimum uh, height uh, non cutting air movements is required means we can use it that uh, total time saving the process so these non cutting movements is main role of which preparing the CAM programming by optimizing the non cutting movements we can reduce the uh, processing times we can save the tool life we have a list of the engaging retraction and transfer methods we can use our uh, requirement we can use that our uh, suitable part profiling we can set it in non-cutting moments by using in nx thanks for watching keep supporting us subscribe to rk catcap keep learning with us